Today's video is going to be the rise and fall of Liam Lawrence. Lawrence was born in Redford, England in 1981, since his career at Redford United, Nottingham and Mansfield before going on to play with the Mansfield first team itself. He made his debut in the Football League trophy against Blackpool in the 1999-2000 campaign. The 2000-01 season would see Lawrence play 18 matches as Mansfield would finish in 13th place. For the next three seasons, Lawrence played a big role as they were promoted and then relegated into the third tier. He also became vital by scoring 19 league goals leading up to the playoff final to the third division once more against Huddersfield Town. Lawrence would miss his penalty as Huddersfield won the shootout 4-1. He would end up moving to Sunderland shortly afterwards in June 2004 for a fee of around £175,000. He had a promising start to life at Sunderland, scoring six goals in a season where they would win the championship and promoted to the Premier League as a result. The 2005-06 season would be disastrous for Sunderland as they finished bottom of the table with a record low of 15 points, which would only be surpassed by Derby County who reached 11. Despite the dreadful campaign by the team, Lawrence would finish as runner-up in the club's Player of the Year award behind Dean Whitehead. Lawrence would stay at Sunderland but he would move to Stoke City initially on loan in November 2006 until January 2007. This was due to him falling out of favour with manager Roy Keane. He spent the next two seasons in the championship with Stoke narrowly missing the playoffs in his first season while finishing second the next year, gaining automatic promotion to the Premier League. He scored 14 league goals as Stoke would go on to gain promotion that season. He would miss out a part of the 2008-09 season as a result of injuring his ankle when he tripped over his dog. He was in and out of the Stoke side during the 2009-10 campaign, but still able to manage to get 25 league appearances. However, by the end of the season, he stated he was going to leave Stoke, and he attempted to do so as he moved to Portsmouth on deadline day in August 2010. He had to stick with a loan move in September 2010, as the deal couldn't be completed on time. The deal would be made permanent in January 2011, and his first season was strong with Portsmouth as he scored 7 goals in that campaign, but the next season... Portsmouth fell into administration and he would have to leave in August 2012. Before his departure, he had spent a portion of the 2011-12 season on loan at Cardiff City. But Cardiff decided it wasn't a priority to sign him permanently. Lawrence would sign for the Greek team, PAOK, and would score three league goals in his first season at the club, and getting sent off twice. He only made two league appearances for the club in the 2013-14 season, and would move to Barnsley in January 2014, he would play 14 times and would not be given a new contract at the end of the season, as they were relegated into League 1. He would end up signing for League 2 side Shrewsbury Town in July 2014, and would regularly play for the team as he helped them finish runners-up behind Burton Albion and promotion to League 1 as a result. He would be left to the bench in the 2015-16 season for Shrewsbury, and was allowed to sign for Bristol Rovers in January 2016. He would play 12 league matches as Bristol were promoted into League 1, after overtaking Accrington Stanley on the final day of the season. He briefly joined non-league side Rushall Olympic, after being once again left out of a team once promoted into League One. He played 15 times for Ireland internationally between 2009 and 2011, despite being born in England. He recently became Stoke City Under-15s manager in August 2020. Well, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment on videos I want to do next. See you next time. Good luck.